In today's video we're going to be going over how to make two characters kiss and while coming up with this video I found out that you can't actually make two events interact with each other because when you try that it leaves this big gap of like five pixels right in the middle of them which is incredibly inconvenient. And also I googled RPG Maker Kiss and I was surprised that there weren't too many results available for this very specific thing. Wait, what's this? What the... What have I discovered? Oh lord, this... Anyway, without further ado, we're going to jump right on into it. So I'm going to open up my image editing software, which is Photoshop. We're going to want two different files. We're going to use Sci-Fi Actors 3 and Gate, which are two character folders. So what we're going to do is go File Open. We're going to click on Sci-Fi Actor 3. We're going to open another file, which will be Gate 2. Now that we have these two files in here, what we're going to do is grab our two kissing actors. So one's going to be on the left, one's going to be on the right. So I'll grab this guy here for now. I'll highlight him, copy him. I'm just going to paste him in the top. I'm going to take note where his feet are. So he's one, two, three, four pixels backwards from the center of this grid line. I'm going to paste him in here. Where's the center grid line? There it is. So I'll just move him. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to hit paste. I'm just going to lower the opacity of this back layer for now. I'm going to go back over and I'll grab her side facing image as well. One, two, three from that center grid line that I've got going on. So this is going to be the first frame of our animation. So what I'm going to do is merge those layers. Then I'm going to go back over to their images and I'll get her taking a step towards him. And I'll just get it so she's moving closer to him. Then I'll do the same for him. One step of him moving to the right. I'll get him moving closer to her. Edit these around a bit. Then I'm going to grab the first layer we created, which is this one here. So we'll copy that and paste it and then scroll them down and what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight her shift T move her all the way over and I'll do the same for him copy all of his pixels shift T move him all the way over now they're pretty face to face what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab his arm from this frame over here so we just want to copy all of these pixels once we've got his whole arm, I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to paste it over the top here. We're just going to do a small amount of editing so it looks a bit better. Then we're going to do the same thing for her. We'll go back over to the original image and we'll get her forward facing arm and we'll copy that over into this image here like that. And then we'll edit out anything we need to. Now that we've done that, for the final step, we'll merge together this layer. Then I'm going to copy that layer and paste it. Move that down. Now a few things I'm going to do on this layer. I'm going to close both of their eyes. So I'm just going to mess around with the pixel colors on the face. Then what I'm going to do is give them both a bit of a blush, so I'm going to come over here to the red, I'll change the opacity of my brush down to 19% and just draw a little red on their cheeks. Now what I'm going to do is select their arms and move them a lot closer together. Ugh, that is one wanky looking arm. But you catch my drift, you can edit it to your heart's content to make it look as good as you want. Once we have these characters edited, what we're going to do is I'm going to raise up the opacity all the way. I'm going to merge every layer except the bottom one. And then we want these characters' feet to be touching the very bottom of these gates. So I'm going to move them down touching the bottom of the gate. I'll move these guys down, touching the bottom of the gate. And then I will do the last one here, moving them down, touching the bottom of the gate. Now finally what I'm going to do is select this gate and delete it. And now we can export this. So we'll export this as a PNG. 
Now what, we're going to save this as KISS. When doing an oversized event like this, it's really important that you save it with an exclamation mark and a money sign. This just helps the game figure out that you've got an oversized event and the background programming does what it needs to do. So we'll hit save and jump on into game. Now in the game over here we have these two events and as I showed you earlier when they kiss for some reason the game decides to cut five pixels out from the center of them for some reason. So I'm going to delete her event right here and open his event and get rid of everything here. I'm going to change his event. We're going to go to kiss which was the one we originally made. So load that up and direction fix is going to be on purely so the animation doesn't mess up. His name's just going to be K1. What's going to happen is when we talk to him, he's going to say, come on over for a kiss. And then what we want to do is set movement route. Now we want to set it to this event. We're going to turn direction fix off, then he's going to turn left, right, up, wait for completion and hit okay. Now, once this movement route is done, Essentially that's saying this is facing down, that's left, right and up. So we're essentially just assigning a few different frames of animation to play. What we're going to do is we're going to wait for 120 frames and then we're going to do the opposite. So we'll set the movement route to this event and it will be right, left, down. And then we'll turn direction fix back on, wait for completion, hit apply. Now we'll load that into game and see how that goes. As you can see, we have our event over here. Now, one thing to note is that you can't walk through him because he's the center of the event, but you can walk through her, which is not what we want. So to fix that, all you need to do is go outside back into the engine and then double click where this second character is going to be, create a new event and just have that as same as character and then hit OK. Now back into the game, you can see I can't walk through her anymore. Now I'm going to talk to him and these two characters are both going to kiss, but before they kiss, they need you to scroll down and hit the subscribe button because this is some pretty unique RPG Maker content. And if you do like it, then hit the like button literally so the YouTube algorithm picks up on my video and everyone can see a bunch of pixels kissing. Okay. Come on over for a kiss. And there we go. They come together for a little kiss and then come back apart. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.